Hey guys, Coach Knapp here again out of West Virginia. I got my good friend Coach Fiddler today, Aaron Fiddler. We've got his Twitter handle up here. It's a uh, at Fiddler AJ, and I want to show you guys a goal line package that he taught us. Uh, it's been really beneficial. It's very easy to do. Here's his son Ollie. Say hi, Ollie. Hi, Ollie. There he is. Okay, and we just got out of practice here, guys. But this is the goal line package. Uh, I really like it. I didn't think I would. But it's a great, great offense for when you're in the mud or just need five to three yards. So, uh, with further ado, here is Coach Fiddler. Uh, hey, guys. Aaron Fiddler. Um, I coach running backs and outside linebackers here at South Charleston. Um, I've coached uh, at Glenville State College for a few years, uh, coaching tight ends, being a assistant o line coach. I've coached in Germany and Sweden, um, and I've coached high school here in the U.S. Um, especially in Sweden, we found that uh, this was a really good – um, way to establish some dominance and, uh, and be really physical. Uh, in, in certain situations, we ran the air raid over there. Um, so this, this really helped us uh, change the pace of the game on teams. Um, first of all, we're unbalanced line uh, in this set. We just call it a heavy set. Um, so one thing that we really do when coaches start calling heavy, we have the, everybody on teams yelling heavy. Guys are sprinting out there to, uh, to be really physical and, and we make it really important to our team. Um, as you'll see here, we're unbalanced. Uh, we're foot to foot splits whenever we go heavy. Um, we're unbalanced to the left. The reason we do that is uh, because of predominantly having right-handed quarterbacks. If you'd have a left-handed quarterback, then we would, we would flip this. Um, we've got our uh, first back here is in B gap. Second back is in A gap. Third back's right behind the quarterback. Um, this can, this could be any type of player you want. It can be an extra offensive lineman. It can be a really aggressive fullback. It can be a defensive lineman I found a lot of success with putting them at this first back position. Um, so the plays we're going to be running, uh, we're running in, out, and over. All right, so uh, the way we're reading this, uh, the first play that we're looking for is in. So we're reading B gap. If B gap is open uh, with, without a, a down lineman in the B gap, then we're going to run in. The rules on in, everybody B gap in are walking head up to inside. Everybody outside of B gap are walking head up to out. We're ISOing B gap with the first back. Handing the ball to the second back, he's running the ISO. Third back fakes to the outside. Quarterback will hand off, then fake, then boot. All right, and that's in. Okay, now we'll go to out. So now we've got B gap closed, so we want to run the ball out. Guard in, they still run, they still block head up to down. Now the difference is everybody blocks down from the outside. First back kicks, second back leads through, third back gets the ball, and the quarterback boots. And that's out. Now, uh, you know, we may have success running in, we may have success running out, um, especially if, if people are only leaving an overhang out here, I'll call out all day. But if we would see from up top, or if we get in a quick change situation where we jump in heavy uh, off of a turnover, um, that's a good chance to call over. Everybody on the offense runs essentially out, except for the quarterback and this backside tight end. This backside tight end, we'll run a slam corner. Quarterback's gonna fake the out, and we'll bootleg. We're looking for a run pass option here. If the quarterback can run the ball, he does. If we get a guy to trigger, we can throw the corner out. Um, big thing linemen are gonna ask you is, um, well, what about the run block? We, we tell them we want you running out. I don't think that they're gonna get three yards down the field before before we throw the ball.
Um, so we've never worried about it. I, I've never on in, out, and over gotten called for lineman downfield. Um, that's in, out, and over. It's been a really successful uh, goal line package for me. I've run it uh, various ways, but this is the most basic way we've done it. And guys, I'm telling you, this really works. I know that we're air raid guys and we like to sling it around and there's nothing wrong with that. But uh, this is really easy to install. Coach, how long do you think it takes to install this and practice it? Um, to, to install it, I go three times through with each play. Three times within, three times without, three times with over. And then on um, your last practice of the week before your game, we run it three times each. I saw it, uh, I saw it actually done that way. I was skeptical about it. And then when I saw it happen, I said, hey, Next time I get a chance, this sucker's going in. And the way Coach explains it, it takes no time. Uh, guys, this was Coach Fiddler again. And like I said, he has all kinds of cool things. Like when he was over in Sweden, those guys had never even heard about football. They thought it was soccer. And he did this. He was telling me about this drill where they're all in stretch lines and doing special team stuff. If you guys would like to have him back on the show, let me know. And he can talk about his experiences there. But uh, thanks for watching this. And remember, spin it to win. <laughs>